Greetings, everyone. Art Week is upon us here in New York City, and we have a lot to share with you. So let's get to it. But first, let us begin where it all began. On the streets. The street art festival Manifesto MX in the streets of Mexico City has been exhibiting some pretty polemic murals. The latest, Eric Kane's monkey in downtown Mexico City. So originally, as you can see in the picture, the monkey had a presidential band with a Mexican flag on it. Two or three days later, the band disappears, turning black. The story, the owners asked the artist if he could paint it black because of security reasons. Now, secure censorship or censored security? In Mexico nowadays, you don't really know anymore. The Patterson Project will be one of Melbourne's most exciting and important street art events of the year. Some of the best urban artists will be painting under one roof, raising funds for the Royal Children's Hospital, who ensure ongoing improvements in pediatric healthcare for all children. Artworks by artists like Adnate, Roan, Mayo, and many more will be auctioned off that night in the historic Patterson's building. Check out our show section for more information. This week, New York is infested with art, thanks to the multiple art fairs going around the city. We've made a brief list of what to check out in all. All right, listen, the Armory Show is humongous, but we've made a short list of what booths you can run off to quickly. Check out Trenton Doyle Hancock's sick collages as well as Brian Graff's pigment prints at James Cohen Gallery booth. Edinburgh-based Ingleby Gallery has amazing sculptures by Jonathan Owen and David Batchelor, and some sick oil pieces by James Huguenin. Whitechapel Gallery has some great collages and glissé prints by Anna Parkina and Peter Halley. At Pulse, look for Danny Rolf's work, Jamie Ziegelbaum's pixel installation, and sit in at the Perspectives Roundtable entitled Miami's Art Programs, Fresh Approaches in a Unique City on How Cities Engage with Public Art. At Art Dealers of America, or ADAA, check out Lorna Simpson's collages and ink and gold powder pieces at Salon 94, as well as Marcel Audenbach's collages at Anton Kern Gallery. And finally, at Scope, you really have a lot to choose from, but do not miss out on Daniel Sueda's monkey business at the Galerie Julianne Hundemart. They are phenomenal. Now, as soon as you feel severe claustrophobia creeping into your being on the aisles of the fairs, do not worry. Head over to Scarstead Gallery to enjoy Keith Haring's Heaven and Hell exhibition, where five monumental scale pieces will be exhibited. At Driscoll Babcock Gallery, don't miss Wafa Bilal's Lovely Pink, an installation of 12 unique sculptures that resonate with the destabilization of iconic structures. Very ad hoc to the terrible destructions those mother of ISIS perpetrated last week on the Baghdad Museum. From the streets, we bounce to the galleries. Spanish artist Scount is having his first ever solo exhibition in Kuwait entitled Projections Searching. The exhibition will be curated by Visual Therapy and will consist of 11 paintings, 4 photographs, a short film and 6 masks. He'll also continue the photography project he's been doing for the past few months through different countries using masks and interacting with people, working on the concept of identity disorder individuals face regarding the society we live in. Yalla, if you're in Kuwait, you cannot miss it. Take note of all the shows happening around the world. That's all from us this week, guys. Thank you so much for tuning back. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so you can get your daily dose of urban and contemporary art news. I'll check you guys next week. <laughs>